Adding to the tension between Washington and Moscow over Syria is an item in the back of the New York Times today that turned into front page news. It's an op-ed piece under the byline Vladimir V. Putin, in which the Russian president gives the United States quite a lecture. Major Garrett tells us how they like the morning paper this morning at the White House. Major? Scott, top Obama advisors argued that with this op-ed, Putin, Putin has now put, Russian President Vladimir Putin has put Russia's credibility on the line. And the White House, Scott, did its best to overlook Putin's other insults and inconsistencies. In the piece, Putin denied the Syrian regime ordered the August 21st sarin gas attack, which the administration claims killed more than 1,400 civilians near Damascus. Writing, there is every reason to believe it was used not by the Syrian army, but by opposition forces to provoke intervention by their powerful foreign patrons. But he went on to admit the regime did have chemical weapons and that they posed a threat. The world, he wrote, must take advantage of the Syrian government's willingness to place its chemical arsenal under international control for subsequent destruction. Putin then wagged a finger at U.S.-led military actions in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya. It is alarming that military intervention in internal conflicts in foreign countries has become commonplace for the United States. Is it in America's long-term interest? I doubt it. Lastly, Putin attacked President Obama's assertion Tuesday that the U.S. is obligated to fight chemical weapons use. I believe we should act. That's what makes America different. That's what makes us exceptional. With humility, but with resolve, let us never lose sight of that essential truth. Putin wrote, it is extremely dangerous to encourage people to see themselves as exceptional, whatever the motivation. We spoke with the director of Ketchum, the public relations firm in Moscow that brought Putin's essay to the New York Times. He told us it was written either by Putin or those in Putin's inner circle. Either way, the White House dismissed most of it as posturing, but hopes the part about ridding Syria of its chemical weapons is not. Major, thanks very much.